All right, we got McConnell from Truss the Bank in the house talking some Ravens, seeing if they're going to snipe us. All right, welcome back to One Bar and Love. A good show. I'm One Bar with special guest McCona. Uh, and we're going to talk Ravens. Ravens picking 22, and he's going to break it down. At least, at least get our hearts ready or not, or if we got <laughs> the same players on our radar. And something tells me we might, we might have it. McCona, happy draft week, man. Happy draft week. It's always fun to talk draft, and it's the most exciting time of the year. You know, I love having hope about my favorite team. So, you know, I'm, I'm excited for Thursday. It's going to be a lot of fun. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, Makana, if uh, he's he's now our new Ravens go-to guy. We had him on when we signed Josh Oliver. Like it or not, man, you were going to be our go-to guy <laughs> with the Ravens. Oh, no worries. I appreciate it. I like being that guy. All right. Well, you guys pick 22. Vikings obviously picking 23. So we just want to pick your brain just a little bit. So just uh, right off the bat, top two needs for the Ravens. Uh, and it doesn't necessarily have to be round one, but just overall, because you're picking before us a handful of times. Yeah, I think the top two needs are cornerback, or at least outside cornerback, and wide receiver, Damn even it. though we signed Odell. See, that's exactly what we don't want to hear, but I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. Uh, so you answered another question. Uh, Odell, obviously, now a Baltimore Raven, but wide receiver still, does that even affect it one damn bit? Since he's only on a one-year deal, I feel like they do still want to get somebody locked in long-term to be that guy outside of Rashad Bateman. It's kind of my thought, but maybe they go after Hopkins. I don't know. Uh, trading. Um, and let's just stick to round one. Are you getting any sense um, as far as if you think the Ravens would trade up, trade back, stay in, stand pat? What's usually their MO? Um, Eric DaCosta likes to make moves on draft day. Uh, last year he traded Hollywood for a first round pick. Um, Ozzie Newsom always loved to trade back. That was typically what he did. Uh, when we, when we drafted Lamar that draft, Ozzie traded back two times and then traded into the first round. They like making moves on draft day. They want to acquire picks or acquire their guys. So I think it's more likely that they trade back though, um, than anything, uh, in terms of like jumping to grab somebody. All right, once again, McConnell for Trust the Bank. Hit up those links down in the description. Give them a sub. Uh, are you going to be going live or anything or, or after the Ravens make a pick? Are you guys doing videos? So I put out I, – I record my reaction, and then I put out – they're like three- to five-minute videos I put out every time the Ravens make a pick. Nice. Awesome. Check them out. Hopefully it's not uh, like a Joey Porter or somebody like that. But let's talk round one. I mean, what what would you say are the three hottest names linked to the Ravens right now? And you're going to break our hearts right here. I know Um. Well, my favorite guy is Joey Porter, um, but I think the biggest names I'm seeing is uh, Deontay Banks out of Maryland, um, Forbes out of Mississippi State, and then I see a lot of Zay Flowers is kind of the, the big three names that I'm seeing out of, you know, the Ravens writers and stuff like that. Yeah, those uh, those names are very familiar. Let me get your thoughts on Deontay Banks. We're Myself, I mean, a Banks, like the Ravens, is a very hot name for the Vikings. Fits the defense perfectly. He's obviously a riser, but I just, I, I'm, I'm not in love with the guy. What do you think about Banks? I, I'm with you. I watched him, and I, I didn't think he was a first round guy. And then he ran the combine, and he did very well at the combine. And all of a sudden, people just started throwing him up draft boards. And I was like, I, there's a lot of like, you know, Clark Phillips is not being talked about, and I like him a lot more than than Banks, but didn't have a good combine. So I, I feel like Banks is one of those combine risers, but maybe in the actual draft, he does slide back to his original slot, kind of like a DK Metcalf did. I got to be honest. I hope the Ravens take Deontay Banks more than anything <laughs> in the world, uh, just so he's off the board. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. We will see. So when it comes to fans, when it comes to Twitter, um, maybe not so much what the Ravens might do, but what are they hoping they do? What, who's like the, like the name that everybody just wants? I think it's I think it's Zay Flowers. I think I see a lot of people in love with Zay Flowers. And personally, I'm not, but everybody in my comment section, everybody I see on Twitter doing the mock drafts every day, it's like I just see Zay Flowers every time. And I guess the Ravens really want another 5'10 small wide receiver because they already have like five of them. But <laughs> maybe that's what they want. I don't know. I don't know why. 
One name you haven't mentioned, Jordan Addison. Is he getting much steam for the Ravens or no? I haven't seen – I love Jordan Addison, but I think the reason that he's not being talked about with the Ravens is because the Ravens' number one wide receiver in Odell has had injury history, severe injury history. Bateman has missed the last two seasons or end of the last two seasons and the beginning of his rookie season. And Jordan Addison's been on and off the injury report, you know, going back to Pitt and USC. So it's like, I think that's why people aren't talking about him, but I love him. I would love for the Ravens to go after Jordan Addison. I think he's going to be a stud if he's able to stay healthy, but yeah, I just don't see a lot of people talking about him. So uh, there's always a curveball. I mean, value might trump needs. Is there any player that maybe the Ravens could look at that might be a little bit of a surprise? I'll give you two. Um, the first I don't think will be available, and that's Bijan Robinson. Um, I think the Ravens are always the best player available. That's kind of always been their motto. They didn't need a safety last year. They drafted Kyle Hamilton, and you know because he was there. If Bijan's there, I would not be surprised if they took him. And then. I'll throw out, I really kind of don't want this to happen at all, but Hendon Hooker, I think wow. if he's nice. there and talks like are going with Lamar Jackson and they're not feeling confident about it, maybe the Ravens do draft that quarterback with the intent of trading Lamar Jackson if they just truly believe that he's not going to resign. Damn, I mean, another name, Vikings are, are all <laughs> over. And again, hey, I would love it if you guys took in and hooker because then we don't have to. So I, yeah, <laughs> I like it. I like it. Uh, so mid round guys, like I said, it's not just the first round. I think you're picking mm -hmm. before us a couple times, maybe third, maybe the fifth, something like that. But any mid round guys you got your eyes on or if the Ravens may be linked to. Yeah. I think guys that I really like in the mid rounds, um, I'm a Stanford fan and I'm a big fan of his game and Caillou blue Kelly uh, nice. as a cornerback. A wide receiver I really love is Xavier Hutchinson out of Iowa State. And then, you know, Ed Rusher, um, Zach, I can't remember his name, Zach, out of uh, Zach Harrison, Harrison out of Ohio State, State, I think is another guy in the third round. Um, and then there's like 35 running backs in this draft class. So any of those guys are also um, guys I've seen linked to the Ravens, like Kenny McIntosh, Dwayne McBride, uh, Tajay Spears are just a few of those guys to name some. Well, uh, Vikings fans watching this will recognize all these names. Cause once again, it sucks when you got a team right in head of right in front of you with pretty much the exact same needs. Cause we yeah. will keep crapping ourselves every time the Ravens are on the clock, but uh final final. And once again, hit up those links down in the description, go give him a sub, follow his channel, give him a sub on uh, Twitter. If the draft was tonight, what's your gut say? What, what do you think the Ravens, would end up who do you think they'd end up with in the first round unfortunately i think zay flowers and i flowers. i'm gonna i would be upset all right i could live with that i could live with zay flowers uh there you have it man there you have it appreciate it you're setting us up you're you're, you're getting our hearts ready for either a heartbreak or maybe you guys just hopefully reach for somebody but uh wish you guys well in the draft just don't steal our guys and again hit up those links but kind of appreciate you hopping on man Oh, no worries. Thanks for having me.